Pizza coupons. Free pizza coupons. You want a free pizza coupon? Wink, wink. What's the deal with the pizza coupon? You want a free pizza coupon? Wink, wink. Okay, but what do I get with it? <laughs> um, a coupon? <sighs> nice costume. Thanks. It protects me from the signals. Do we know each other? Wait a second. You look familiar. <laughs> Weren't we in freshman chem class together? What's your name? Lenore. I know who you are. You're Dolores Edmond. You and your Uncle Chuck were working on mind control, Ray, to remove our free will before he died. What? Don't play dumb with me. I know you put bugs in our pillows. You'll never take me alive! Looks like a pizza flyer. Hi there, this is Brant Bailiwick, JD. Do you have legal problems? Then you've come to the right place. I'm out of the office today at ThimbleCon 87, handling all cosplay legal issues. Stop by my booth. It's out of order. The coin slot is filled with glue. It's out of order. But how is it ringing? It's out of order. But how is it ringing? Hello, 198.7 FM KSCUM listeners. DJ Cassie here. We interrupt our hostile takeover of the airwaves with this important announcement. I have four free ThimbleCon 87 tickets to give away. First caller who can answer our trivia questions wins. And now back to our regularly scheduled hostile takeover. It doesn't have any buttons. Must be for incoming calls only. Hey, Willie. Hi, Dolores. Doesn't this music drive you crazy? I think the sheriff put it on as a form of torture. He even broke the radio so it can't be turned off. I just want to listen to some nice theremin music. See you, Willie. 
The radio is on and tuned to 198.7 FM. No thanks, that's official law enforcement equipment. Here goes nothing. I'm checking in. Certainly, Abu. Here is your room key. Not long now. I'd like to check in, please. Certainly, Abu. Here is your room key. It's turned off. Chuck's reach extends everywhere in this town, even from his grave. I still have the brush, but no more fingerprint powder, and it's missing the fingerprint tape. I can't use the map right now. I need to check my messages before I head out. You have one new message. Message one. Hola, soy mamá. ¿Recuerdas la, la vieja promesa que me hiciste sobre papá? He enviado un paquete a recepción. Es vital para nuestro plan. Come bien, llámeme pronto. Estoy preocupada. Un beso. No more new messages. You have one new message. Message one. You know who this is? You must be close to achieving our goal. We sent the package to the front desk for you. It is required for the next stage. Sayonara. No more new messages. Here's your package, Boo. Thank you. Oh, this is just great. Is that you, Reyes? No, I'm not Reyes. Drop the act, that's the worst disguise I've ever seen. Then I guess you haven't looked in the mirror lately. Touché. What are you doing back in town? I knew something was up with you. Same here, Sherlock. I don't think either of us were being honest. I think it's time we came clean and told the truth about why we're in Thimbleweed Park. You first. Okay. I'm investigating the old pillow factory fire that killed my father. I was wondering why you kept asking about the fire. I figured it was just some perverted pyro fetish. My father was a security guard there. How old were you? I was only five. He was made the scapegoat and the fire blamed on him. Clearing your dad's name is a very noble cause. I'm sorry I've given you such a hard time. I need to get into that factory. I'm sure there is evidence in there that will clear his name. Now... Why are you really here? Well... I'm on vacation and stumbled onto the dead body and thought I'd help. Bullpocky. Well... I'm here to find the secrets to the Pillow Factory AI for the NSA. It involves top-secret national security. That's pretty important. 
Sounds like we both need to get into the pillow factory. Let's work together on this one. Total honesty. Wow. National security. That's some heavy NSA stuff. Let's split up. It will go faster. Good idea. Sir, I have a package of boo for you. Yes! It's my father's watch! It's my father's old pocket watch, but it's broken, and only a professional will be able to fix it. Perfect. It's a special tool for a special use. It's a very strange looking tool. I'm sure it has a very important use near the end of the game. Oh, oh, I'm, you know, really dead. It's just starting to, you know, sink in. I'm never gonna hold my Dolores again. I never told her how proud I was of her for getting that job designing games. I was, you know, too afraid of what Chuck would think. Now I'm dead. I don't remember who killed me or why I'm trapped in this hotel. I need to find a way to escape from here. There has to be a way out. A magical book or a spell? Oh, Franklin, now you're going insane. That only works in games. I can't believe I got over again. What did I do to deserve this treatment? All I wanted to do was entertain people and make them laugh at the stupidity of stupid people. I feel like there's a lesson in all of this, but you, I'm Ransom the Clown. It's all that Franklin's fault. He was gonna talk to Chuck about putting my new high-tech Ransom the Clown licensed dolls into production at the old pillow factory. Then he flaked out. He's probably in Mexico skinny dipping with my next wife. Okay, I need to break into that pillow factory and see if my prototype Ransom the Clown doll is still in there. My comeback depends on it. You! I can't help but feel there was something suspicious about Uncle Chuck's death. He was a bit eccentric, but deep down he had always been a caring and thoughtful uncle. But in the last few years, he became obsessed, and more than usual, with that pillow factory. I need to get inside and see if anything in his old office will help me make sense of it all. I owe it to him to find out what happened. None shall pass. 
without showing me their ticket first. Oh, and welcome to ThimbleCon, of course. How can I get a ticket? The radio is doing a competition to win tickets. You could try your luck by calling up when they announce it. Hello, Dolores. How lovely to see you today. How may I be a boo of service? I'd like some tickets for ThimbleCon. I'm sorry. We only have ThimbleCon tickets for K-Scumaboo contest winners. You should listen to K-Scum on the radio for your chance to win a boo. How else may I be a boo of service? I'm going to check out the beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. Hello. It's a character from an upcoming adventure game called Robot Island. Help, I'm a ghost. Pew! Looks like Marvin's cousin Gary. A dime a dozen. That feels as cold as space. I'm right here. Help, I'm a ghost. It's a bunch of boxes and lines, probably something to do with game design. Hi, Virgil. Hi, Franklin. Don't let Xavier see us talking and not working. Do you know how we can get out of the hotel? I know there's a way you can visit your dead relatives. If you have the spell book and offering left for the dead, that is. We all went to Chuck's funeral recently. Were there, you know, many people? For Chuck Edmund, of course there were. Everyone loves Chuck, you know, except me. I don't know how the spell worked exactly, but I know the secret room smelled really nice. Can I have some, you know, cake? This is special ghost cake. It's super rare and hard to get. I'm not going to give you any unless you have a really good reason. How about... it looks, you know, tasty? I can't waste a slice of cake for that pathetic reason. Oh, okay. Sorry. Thanks anyway. See you soon, Virgil. Nothing's happening until they get enough contestants for the Ransom Lookalike Contest. What? Why can't I leave? I bet it's Xavier keeping me here in this stupid hotel. Can't cope with the boredom anymore. Talk to me now. Okay. I'm not very good at talking to, you know, strangers. But I'll give it a try. So, Clara, what's life like as, well, you know, a, a ghost? For starters, it's not life. Of course, but you know what I mean, right? What's it like? It's like being a ghost. How come you're so, you know, upset all the time? That's unfair. I'm not upset all the time. I'm just a little hungry right now, and that makes me angry. That happens to me, too. There should be a word for that. What can ghosts, you know, eat? As a ghost, it's hard to find food that we can eat. My particular weakness has always been ice cream cake. But I'm stuck in this stupid elevator and I can't get any. Can I, you know, 
Please go to the penthouse? No. Hmm, please. No, you're not my friend. I don't know you anything. Bye, Clara. Help. I'm a ghost. Can I have some, you know, cake? This is special ghost cake. It's super rare and hard to get. I'm not going to give you any unless you have a really good reason. How about Clara said she wants some, you know, cake? For Clara? That changes everything. For her, I'd do anything. Here, take a slice. Just make sure you tell her it's from me. Thanks. I'll do that. See you soon, Virgil. It's an elevator. Oh, it's just the flap doodle again. Would you like this, uh, you know, ghost cake? That's just normal ghost cake. Ugh. I only eat ice cream cake. Bye, Clara. Delicious cake, made especially for ghosts. Voila! Now it's ice cream ghost cake. It's an elevator. Oh, it's just the flap doodle again. Would you like this, you know, uh, ice cream ghost cake? Oh my, you shouldn't have. That's so kind of you. Actually, it's from Virgil. I think he, you know, likes you. Really? Well, I never. That's delightful of you to deliver it. Thank you so much. I feel much better already. Now, what did you want to ask me? So, Clara, do you know how you died? I was dancing at the hotel ball with my husband, and then I felt a horrible pain in my side, and I woke up dead. I was in the hotel too, I think. I just remember a flash, and then I woke up dead. I think we were all murdered in the hotel. There is something creepy about this place. Don't you get bored being stuck here for all eternity? The first 50 years are hard, but then you get used to it. New guests show up, and it's fun to figure out what scares them. I also love this new invention you have called TV. I love when one of the guests is watching hospital hijinks. That show is so funny. What's your favorite, you know, TV show again? Hospital hijinks. I know I shouldn't watch it. Whenever I hear the theme music, I can't resist sneaking a peek on the guest TV. Who put Xavier, you know, in charge? No one. He just arrived one day, and the next thing I knew, I was on boring elevator duty. He's a fustalugs and a clasomaniac too, but no one will ever challenge him. You seem like someone who won't take guff from anyone. Maybe you can. Well, I don't know. I'm not really the type, you know. How do we, you know, get out of the hotel? Xavier has a secret chamber in the penthouse where he can cast a spell to travel beyond the hotel. I don't know how he does it. There was a special book from outside the hotel, and there was something else too, I think. He took us to Chuck's funeral the other day. Chuck is my brother. Now you're just name dropping. Can I, but you know, please go to the penthouse now. All oh, right, I'm tired of listening to Xavier, that old fustalugs. Maybe you can figure out how to get rid of him. Oh, you know, that sounds pretty confrontational. I don't know. Don't be so pigeon-livered. You should stand up for yourself. Oh, okay. I suppose you're right. <laughs> Good. It's decided then. Just push that penthouse button for yourself when you're ready. I won't stop you anymore.
I can't believe I finally made it to the penthouse. Who's that now? What are you doing here? Um, you know, just looking about. I suppose I'll allow that as long as you don't annoy me. I feel warped just looking at those strange runes. They, like, have some sort of, you know, power over me. Stay away from my crystal. Great view. I can see everything from here. Hey, new ghost, I told you not to bug me. Is there any way I can speak to my daughter again? Not a chance, new ghost. Only the crystal behind me will grant you the ability, and you'll never get it. Hypothetically, if I was to get the crystal, how would I use it? Well, you're not going to get it. But hypothetically, if you were to get it, and only hypothetically, because you will never get it. Yes, you know, only hypothetically. Okay, hypothetically, you would just take it into my secret room, and you'd be able to talk with the living. That's it. Can I please have the crystal so I can speak to Dolores one last time? Not a chance, new ghost. The crystal behind me has untold powers, and no one will ever get it. Bye, Xavier. Sorry for bothering you. It's a speck of dust. What's going on? Those runes are doing something to me. I can't, you know, float through the door. 